Hey guys, Heavy on 45 here. Now, recently I've been looking at this group on YouTube called All Death, and they do these things called Black Blasphemies, where basically they try and figure out who exactly says something that if you said this to any other black person, they would consider it a blasphemy. Like one was that um, Michael Jordan is not the GOAT. Um, another one was that Richard Pryor was not a legend and his comedy wasn't that good. It was like, yeah, it was something like that. Um, also that, uh, generic serial is better than, um, generic serial is better than name brand cereal and box macaroni is better than, um, Box macaroni is better than grandma's macaroni. And these were blasphemies to, you know, like, this is something that black people like. You, know, I'm like, what in the world? Uh, So I was like, okay, Th those are, I can see them being some blasphemies. You know, you said to the wrong black person, like, what in the world? Just like I have a cousin who says that because of all the racial tension of certain foods he doesn't eat certain foods he don't eat chicken he doesn't eat watermelon because that's what you know that's what they say we eat. that's racially stimulated that's a stereotype that we eat it so i'm not gonna do it you know it caught my attention when he said that but that's dealing with black folk let's talk about blasphemies in anime there are some blasphemies in anime that people can't believe I've had run into them and it's mostly because I am, I, there's not everything, everything that I say I am is not everything that I like. Um, I gave one a chance. Um, I'm going to tell y'all a couple blasphemies that I've ran into. I've told people, I've never watched the show, but I've told people, that I do not like JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. I've seen like a section of when it was on, on uh, Adult Swim. Well, during the Toonami block on one Saturday. And I saw it and I was like, I don't want to see that stupid thing. And so as I said that, I had a person literally hold their pearls and suddenly take a kid. <gasps> I can't believe have you even seen it? Man, that thing's awesome. Man, we in, I'm like, I don't even want to know. I don't care about it. But to them, I committed a blasphemy. You don't talk down JoJo's Bizarre Adventures because JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is a work of art. You know, it sometimes is silly, but it's great to watch. And I'm like, oh, I really don't care. And they start telling me the history of it. And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. No matter how much detail you give me, I'm not going to watch it. Um, another blasphemy that I've heard, that I've said, is that I don't like One Punch Man. Before I even saw One Punch Man, the first thing I heard was that people try to theorize that One Punch Man could beat anyone. And because everyone believes that One Punch Man could beat anybody in any anime universe i disagree because the first time i saw him was someone drawing him i'm like who's this weak looking dude that they showing right here and he's fighting vegeta this dumb looking face man he like acrylic fo he got acrylic forehead what in the world and all of us but i had people like oh, holding their pearls again talking about, oh, I can't believe you said that you don't like One Punch Man. He's awesome. He's the strongest character. Is. I'm like, wait a minute. So the fact of the matter is, because if you've seen about a year back, I did a video on Krillin versus One Punch Man. Because the fact there is that One Punch Man is strong in his universe. I decided to go ahead and watch the show. I watched the first season and I begrudgingly watched the second season and I don't like it. Like, somewhere in the middle of the second season, I was like, 
Let me see what's going to happen next. Then I just doing the wall because I saw stuff that I liked so much better. So, no, I don't like One Punch Man. Blasphemy. Um, if you don't believe it's blasphemy, say something in the comments. Say something. Um, another one that I believe that a lot of people, and you see this blasphemy all the time. When someone calls an anime a cartoon, why are, and not just that it's a cartoon, it's a kid show. And that, people don't realize all the stuff that really happens in anime. Yeah, you have a lot of cutesy anime and stuff like that, but a lot of anime, you have profanity, you have set, you have sexual content, um, you know, and we're not talking about hentai. We're talking about etches like Hunter X. I'm not Hunter X Hunter. Uh, high School DXD. High School of the Dead. Uh, one I have, Godanar, is like very suggestive with their boob shots and the butt shots. You know, uh, <laughs> it it really increases. Like if you're letting your kids watch anime. And you don't know what kind of anime you, because they have to have a rating just like everything else. Yeah, My Hero Academia is for ki well has stuff directed to kids, but it's also directed to adults. Cause like if you watch some of the old shows, you, you didn't have blood when you watched um, the original Dragon Ball Z, but Dragon Ball Z had blood in it. You know, you probably let your kids watch Gundam. Gundam's is so more detailed. It has a lot of stuff where you have to follow the plot in it. There's actual plots to it. You know, there's character development. You can't just say that Naruto was the same person um, when he first started his anime to the person that he became when he became Hokage. Um, I, I can't, you know, and I'm still waiting for his son to actually do something, but well, hopefully we'll get there. It, it's another generation, which means we're dealing with another kid who has to learn his potential. But he doesn't have the same struggles as uh, Naruto did. But blasphemy, you know, that is a blasphemy. You're not supposed to call anime a cartoon, which I have to beat myself up on this because I didn't call okay I don't call it a cartoon to people who know what anime is but when someone asks me what is anime or what are you watching I don't say I'm watching cartoon I'm like I'm watching Japanese animation now I didn't say that it's anime and I didn't technically call it a cartoon but when I say Japanese animation I feel like I'm betraying other uh, <laughs> other anime lovers by calling it just it's just Japanese animation because I feel like as soon as I say there's a cartoon to somebody like, yeah it's a Japanese cartoon I'm going to show so much disrespect and I feel so bad if I did but side note on this real quick um because I said that people say that uh Anime is a is cartoons for young kids. This story, real quick, is fun to me. Now, I'm the oldest one in my family. Um, I have so with me being the oldest, I have was coming back from college and it was summertime, like now, and I had just bought me a. DVD set of the show All My Goddess. So I'm watching All My Goddess in the front and I'm enjoying it because I, I like the idea that happened in All My Goddess. My sister and my brother are in the next room on in the hallway on the computer listening to rap music. My mom had just left out. She didn't see what I was watching. And she didn't hear, and the music wasn't on when she uh, left out. So they thought she was gone. She comes back in, and because she forgot her purse or something like that. No, she forgot her wallet. And um, when she did, she 
suddenly comes in and tells my sister and brother, why y'all listen to that kind of music when your brother watched that homely show? I'm like, homely? I, I felt so disrespected on anime, but I didn't tell my mom that because I'm like, hey, she don't know what's going on in these. I'm like, I could probably watch any one of these, anything on here. As long as it looks like it has a cartoon, she'll be like, oh, it's just a cartoon. That's how some people trick you because the anime got some stuff that you don't want your kids to see. So if you see your child watching anime and you've never seen anime before, just watch an episode with them. See if it's what you want them to watch. And I'm so, you know, this for the kids. Most people I figure is you either teenagers or adults. Your parents don't care what you watch. Um, I've committed a parallel blasphemy too because there are certain when you're when you say that you're part of the anime world, there are certain things that you should have done, like certain things that's on your checklist. Um, Dragon Ball Z, you check, you know, Sailor Moon, check, um, what, cause these were basic, I mean, Gundam Wing, check, you, you, like, if you've not seen at least eight episodes of these, you know, something's wrong with you, if you've never seen a Miyazaki film, you know, Something's wrong, you know. That's how can you, how could you have not seen a Miyazaki film? Miyazaki films are great, you know. My neighbor Totoro, uh, what is it? Um, uh, The Cat Returns, the uh, uh, Little Nemo, uh, you know, Princess Monoke. I'm trying to think of all the ones. How's moving? Cal you know, you need to you need to see these and. That's where my blasphemy comes in at. I have not seen Princess Mononoke. And when I tell people that, I'm like, yeah, I've never seen Princess Mononoke. <gasps> you haven't? And I'm like, yeah. It, it's not that I don't want to see. I just don't know where to find it. And sometimes they're going to understand that. But the other one that I have not seen is Akira. And people are like, you haven't seen Akira? Man, it's so great. You've never seen Akira? I'm like, no. And that's the problem. I've never seen Akira because, you know, and it's not that I can't find Akira anywhere. I know that Akira is on, I think it's still on Netflix and it's on Hulu. I just haven't watched it. I've like gotten swallowed up by other shows and stuff that I've just not seen. But to people that I've talked to, Saying that you have not seen either Princess Mononoke or any Miyazaki film, so they let me pass a lot of times on Miyazaki films because I have seen, like I said, Finding Nemo, House Moving Castle, um, The Cat Returns, um, and uh, My Neighbor Totoro. There's no one I'm thinking of. I want to say Spirited Away, but I'm not sure if that's right, and I think it is because it's the one with the girl and the dragon and the old woman and her sister and yeah um <laughs> so yeah but yeah those to me is what people immediately call blasphemies when it comes to anime now to be honest with you i can't think of any other anime blasphemies to oh i think i already said that one yeah, that is technically a blasphemy, cause uh, cause I said that One Punch Man is not as strong he's saying. So to a lot of people, that's blasphemy to even say that uh, Saitama is not the strongest person there is. Um, is ooh, there's so many many blasphemies because when you get into that, you get into blasphemies that deal with other stories and other universes. Like, to some, it's a blasphemy to say that um, when you get into people who watch, like, you get people that get into certain shows, and to that certain person, that person can beat anybody. Like, if you run to a person who loves Tokyo Ghoul, Ken Kaneki could destroy the world 
with his ghoul powers. And so he's the strong, like, this is what they believe that he's the strongest. So he could defeat any other universe person. Um, there's people who believe that in any universe, uh, Superman, and he's not even an anime character, but they believe that Superman it is blasphemy to say that Superman could beat Goku. Also, there's some people that say that it is a blasphemy to say that Goku could beat Superman. I think that either way it goes, it'd be an interesting fight. Um, I think that some people overplay Superman's strength. And I think some people underplay how strong we really say that Goku is. Um, cause by this time he's fast in the speed of light, but I can't really say how fast Goku is. What, and this is not including instant transmission. I mean, like literally technically he could, he could he should be breaking uh sound barriers and stuff like that at like just his basic speed himself is should be faster than what people say but i'm not getting into that because that's a whole nother story because i've i've been told that i can't argue on um goku versus superman because I, that's not an anime blasphemy. That is me starting to go into comic book blasphemies. Um, and maybe I'll do that some other time. Um, but if you know of any blasphemies, uh, you know, put in the comments. I, I know that y'all don't like comment. Y'all don't want people to know who y'all are. That's why we have code names, you know? You think my name is Heavy on Forty Five? Heck no! You know, you put a different name in there. Create a different account that has a name that you do feel comfortable putting a name on, so that people don't know who you really are. You know, so go ahead and uh, if you like what you heard, um, or if you can think of any blasphemies, go ahead and put your the yo comments of what you think are anime blasphemies down in the comments. I'd love to see them. We could talk about them too. Um, and if you feel like you want to have, want to watch somebody uh, play some games on Twitch, um, I know I'm doing, uh, I'm working through Halo and I think I'm almost, uh, I'm, I'm getting through Halo at a pretty good speed. I'm seeming like I'm doing about two levels a game, um, dying a lot because, you know, it it's getting used to the controls a lot of times because certain things not in certain parts back in the day. Um, well, they've changed. The controller's not the same, basically what I'm trying to say. Um, Ninja Tank 2.5, um, and, uh, this is low key. Check them out. Check out Sweet Bonnie. Um, yeah. Check them out. Their, uh, link is in the description, and I'll check y'all later.